Hey guys, how are you all doing? Welcome to another episode of UK Outdoors. Today is New Year's Day, so Happy New Year to you all. Hope this year is going to be a much better one than the last one. So, Dutch Army bivy bag. In the last video, where I got lost in the woods, lost, I didn't really get lost, but a lot of people seem to think I was some sort of amateur. Basically, I'd just gone down to a local sort of reservoir area and it was a certain route that I'd not been on before. I was having a little bit of a laugh on camera, indicated that I was a bit lost and it created a lot of comments saying, oh, are you irresponsible, blah, 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 blah. Um, I wasn't really lost. It was about a 10 minute drive from my home. Worst case scenario, I just needed to ask somebody, where are you and where am I? How do I get to the car park? and I'd have been out of there, yeah? So it was a bit of humour, but a lot of people don't tend to get that northern humour. So I decided to scrap the video off. It was more hassle than it was worth. But, as I say, in that video, I did promise that I'd get the Dutch Army BB bag that I was getting for Christmas, that I would come out and get it all out, see what it's all about, give my thoughts and feelings on the uh, on the matter, because I've got several BB bags. I've got an OEX lightweight BB bag. I've got a... British Army BB bag, now I've got the Dutch Army um, BB bag, I've got another British Army BB bag that I've modified, I'll show you that modification later on, and also like the survival bag, so I've got plenty um, BB bags, so I've got quite a bit of experience on all of them, and I'll let you know the ins and outs of all them as we go on. So without further ado, I'm going to get it set up and let you see what it's like. again so I've just set it up and it probably took me about a minute to set it up um, I got this off eBay and it was about 40 odd quid for the actual BB bag itself so that was quite quite a bargain they're, they're ranging from anywhere between sort of 75 quid up to 150 quid um, I've never managed to find them anywhere brand new. They always seem to be um, surplus, army surplus uh, stores that stock them. And I seen this and I thought, you know what, I'll have that. So 
Anyway, the missus says, well, just get it and uh, it can be from one of the kids. So the little girl got it me. Um, I had to buy my own poles. So yes, they were 25 quid. I couldn't find any used ones, but they were brand new. Um, so all in all, it's, it's about the, the bottom end of what you'd expect to pay for one in the end. Um, there was no pegs to go in with it. So I bought a pack of five Van Gogh pegs, extremely lightweight pegs, and they're the same pegs that I've got for a Van Gogh mountaineering tent. That um, they that's all, all sort of lightweight gear. So I bought these. I think they were about two pound fifty for five pegs. I do actually need six pegs. I didn't realise you've got a tab where the hoop is. Um, I thought there was just one in each corner but I'll just get another pack and then I've got a few spurs there so I'll put uh, links in the description for all the gear all and any any extras and accessories and everything I'll put all them in the description so if, if you need any gear just have a look in the description and you'll see where I got it from and if you can find it cheaper elsewhere at least you know what you're looking for so anyway back to business um, I got this because, well, A, I've always wanted one, and B, I want to start going out lightweight, stealth, camping, um, hiking, etc. So, any time I go in a tent, I've had bad experiences, I take a BB bag anyway. I've woke up in puddles and stuff, and I've had cheap tents, expensive tents, and, you know, if you... If you take your eye off the ball and you end up pitching somewhere in a slight divot and you, and you wake up in a pool of water, um, you know, even the best of tents, there is a, a reasonable chance that there's water going to get in um, at some point or another. You know, it's so easy just to, to pierce a tiny little pinprick in the bottom of your tent. So I always take a bivy bag anyway, it adds an extra layer of warmth, um, and they're not that heavy. So this is a bivy bag and a tent in a wanna. You know, what I didn't like about the British Army BB bag is that, yes, it's lighter weight than this, but you, c you struggle to get in and out. And for somebody who probably wakes up maybe once or twice every night f to go to the toilet, um, it's not something you wanna be doing when you're out, in, certainly in a colder weather, um, when you're having to struggle and, and sort of crawl out the top but the thing I liked about this is is it zips right, right the way down so easy to get in and out so my sleeping bags um, the ones I've sort of started to go for tend to have the zip down the centre so I can you know I'm sort of let down just slip it down the centre and then this one's nice and easy to get out it's, it's got a zip and then like a stud press button um, if you've watched any of my other videos you'll know that I'm quite a tall guy six foot three and I need gear to, to have plenty of length there's a lot of there's a lot of gear that I've had in the past sleeping bags etc and bivy bags that are not quite long enough. Um, I, tr I tried one my friend had. He had um, one of these cheap 20 quid, supposed to be breathable, but they weren't, but kind of bivy bags. And uh, it, it just about snug fit to the bottom of your feet. And I don't like that. I like, I like to be quite a bit of room. So, let's see. That's me right at the bottom now. So, I'd say there's a good 18 inches spare room, so, if I had my rucksack, in fact, I'm going to see if I fit my rucksack in as well and close it up, let's see if that works. So I've got the Snug Pack Sleeker Force 35. So a 35 litre rucksack, it'll do for, you know, overnighters and stuff, just sort of day hikes and whatnot. 
Um, if you need any bigger than that, yeah, to be fair, there's quite, quite a bit of room in there. Right, so let's see if it zips up. Here's a verdict. When I put it in, if I load it straight across the back, that was sticking in my head. So at six foot three, I'm gonna have to take the stuff out of that or twist it round, put it to one side, and sort of sleep at an angle. So yes, at a push, you can put your gear in. If you're shorter than six foot three, there's only gonna be even more room. So, 35 litre rucksack, full to the brim, is going to be okay to sleep in here. Boots as well. Yeah, I think good. Look at that, boots as well. <laughs> So, I've not tried it in the rain yet, I will be doing, I'm going to be getting out all sorts of weathers and I think this is going to be the kit, um, depending on sort of the length of the trek, whether I'm going to be out in the woods, whether I'm going to be up top of the mountains etc, um, I'm going to decide at that point whether I'm going to go for very lightweight, I mean OAX bivy bag, I think it's 300-400 grams, um, versus this one. Again, I'm not 100% sure, but after this video, I'll go home, weigh everything, and then I'll pop back and give you all the specs of everything that I've got. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's over the kilo mark for this. But you've got to remember, this is in, in place of a tent, and you don't need a tarp. Um, so it's everything, it's your bivy bag, it's your tarp, it's your tent, it's all, all, all in a wanna. Um, to be honest with you, I don't think I'll be using this on its own for when I come out in the woods, unless I'm really trying to sort of keep a low profile, but it's definitely going to be my uh, top of my list for a lot of activities and you know where I want to sort of keep a, a, a reasonably low profile, but lightweight. Um, and I, you know, I don't, I don't really want to be attracting attention because a lot of places in the UK you can't actually camp out legally without landowner's permission. A lot of places will kick you off. Um, but the rules around bivy bags is that once it's got a hoop in it, it becomes a structure. Once it's a structure, then you're camping. If you take the hoop out, then you're not camping anymore, you're resting. So if you're on a public right of way, sort of a public footpath or public land, um, you know, that's sort of looked after by the Woodland Trust and, you know, the, there's a lot of reservoirs and whatnot that's United Utilities, Water Board, etc. Um, if you're on their land, you're allowed to be on their land, but you're not allowed to camp on their land, then Having a bivy, bivy bag without a hoop, you, you can naturally be there. It is, you know, you're just resting, so you're not you're not actually breaking the law. 
Um, so if I were to ever get sort of pulled up in this by some sort of wardens, etc., I'll just take the hoop out and then, you know, depending on what sort of time, if it's early in the morning, I've already camped, I'll just sort of have my breakfast and go, but if it's in the middle of the night and, and I don't really want to be shifting on and I'm not doing any harm, I've not made any campfires or anything like that, I'll just take the hoop out and say, I'm sorry, you know, it's I'm not I'm not doing any wrong. So <laughs> anyway, okay. I'm gonna get my boots back on now and move around a bit because uh, the snow's starting to make me legs go numb. So stick around guys, the next video I put up is going to be a gear, lightweight gear. So I'm gonna get my tarp set up now. I've got um, a new sleeping mat, um, lightweight bivy bag, the OEX one. I'm just gonna show you that sort of setup because this year is gonna be a great year for getting out. I'm gonna do a lot of lightweight trekking and camping. So stick around and uh, a video coming up next. That one, that one will be all for light, lightweight camping. Hey guys, so I'm back home now and I've just weighed the Dutch Army BB bag. <coughs> that comes in at 1.44 kilograms and the British Army BB bag, just as a comparison, is 846 grams. So it's not the lightest setup in the world. There is tents out there that weigh less than the Dutch Army BB. But the question is, can you get tents that are cheaper than the Dutch Army BV and as good quality as the Dutch Army BV that are lighter than that? So, you've got a bit of a trade-off there. Personally, I like the idea that the Dutch Army BV is stealth, low to the ground. If you, you know, you can camp in woodland and sort of high grassy areas and you just won't be seen and um, there's uh, I think it was the English woodsman I'm pretty sure he's been out in one of the Dutch army BB and he went into one of these sort of local nature reserves and there was a warden came right by him you know sort of flashed his torch right on him and and he wasn't seen so they are really good for sort of stealth camping, stealth bivying, um, and you don't need a tarp. Like with the British Army bivy bag, like the standard one, ideally you want a tarp over your head because if it lashes down with rain, you're either having to sort of turn over and face the ground or risk, you know, you sort of scrunch the face up, you sort of risk rain getting in. And you're getting wet through on your face. So that's that's the benefit for the Dutch Army BB bag really. Is that you can sort of just hunker down and get inside it and away you go. You don't really need anything else other than your sleeping bag and your, and your mat. So right, that's me for this one folks. Um, as I said earlier on in the video, I've, I've made another video while I was out today. And that one is all about lightweight camping gear. Uh, that features a bivy bag, sleeping bag, camping mat, and the the type or a basher, as us Brits like to call it. So, if you like the video, click like. If you want to subscribe, see more. Please do. If you didn't like it. I'm very sorry, but, <laughs> you know, we can't please everybody. Um, one thing I would like, like to say is sorry about the the sound quality while I was out there. I'm only videoing off a mobile phone, and my son, the cameraman, he quite rightly pointed out that it's not very loud. So I've ordered myself, like a wireless microphone for next vi videos when I go out 
they'll have a wireless microphone and hopefully be able to hear me more. But if you put if you if you're listening on a phone, put it full volume and uh hopefully you'll be able to hear what's going on uh, also with, with the next video as well so see you again folks thanks for watching see you again on uk outdoors